Sudan was the sole remaining male rhino of his kind, celebrated by kids and adults from all walks of life as the most eligible bachelor and last male standing. He was 45 years old when he passed, which is around 90 human years. With his death, hope for the subspecies all but vanished. Sudan's daughter Najin and granddaughter Fatu are the only remaining northern white rhinos in the world. They live out their days grazing grasses in protected habitat within Old Pacheta Conservancy. The not-for-profit sanctuary in Kenya is a refuge for white and black rhino, great ape, and many other species. Like so many other endangered animals, the demise of the northern white is attributed to years of poaching, in this case for rhino horn, illegally bought and sold on the black market. But what of Najin and Fatu, their fate, and the future of the northern white? Conservation scientists are hopeful that in vitro fertilization can revive the subspecies. A team of veterinarians successfully harvested 10 eggs from the females in an international collaboration involving renowned institutions from Germany, Italy, Czech Republic, Kenya, Japan, and the United States. Seven of these eggs were fertilized using sperm collected and frozen from northern white rhino bulls, and two were successfully made into embryos. Neither Najin or Fatu can carry a pregnancy, so the embryos are being stored in liquid nitrogen to be transferred into a surrogate southern white rhino mother in the near future. The ultimate aim is to produce a number of healthy northern white rhinos that could eventually be returned to well-protected areas and establish new wild rhino populations. In the meantime, caretakers at Old Pajeta Conservancy guard the peaceable mother and daughter pair and make sure they have what they need to live full and healthy lives.